Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today we have a jailbreak tweak. This one is going to show you how to add swiping gestures uh, to iOS 7 in order to switch between uh, your open apps and also to close an open app. Okay, so before we do this tweak, we need to make sure your phone is jailbroken. If it's not, click the link below, follow the procedure, and come back to this video for the tweak. Okay, so for this tweak, we're going to go over to Cydia. And once that opens, we're going to go and tap search on the bottom right. Still loading on my old iPhone 4. Here we go. Search. Now, the tweak we're looking for is multi-tasking gestures, all one word. So tap that when it comes up. Now this is a purchased app going for $1.50, so tap purchase in the top right. And use whichever way you do to pay for these tweaks. In my case is Google, and I'm going to sign in that way. Okay, so once you have finished the uh, purchasing procedure for multitasking gestures, you're going to tap close on the top right, and it's going to go back to the multitasking gestures page, at which point you tap install on the top right, and then you're going to tap confirm again on the top right and let it install on your phone. So we're going to let it do that and then it's going to eventually come up with a reload springboard or restart phone message at the bottom. Restart springboard, so tap that to restart your phone and let it go. All right, so now that your phone has restarted, I'm going to go over to settings to configure this tweak. So tap settings and scroll all the way down to multitasking gestures. Now, uh, swip, switch app gesture, keep that enabled if you want to switch between open apps, um, or recently open apps, should I say. And then restrict in apps lets you choose apps that you don't want to work with the multitasking gesture tweak. So tap the switcher there if you want to prevent FaceTime, for example, to uh, work with the, this tweak. So I'm going to go back. And the recognition area is just what it sounds like. It allows you to uh, set whether you want the top half or bottom half or the entire edge to work with the tweak. And then the swipe up gesture, keep that enabled if you want to swipe up to uh, close the open app that you have open uh, at the moment. Or if you're on the home screen, uh, swipe up to bring up the app switcher. Um, so I'm going to keep that enabled. Um, if you'd rather have just uh, the swipe up feature to activate the switcher or just to close the app, you can choose, it, choose that here. As you can see, I'm going to keep it on both. And then restricting apps, uh, actually keyboard disables, um, if you turn that on, will prevent the tweak from working if the keyboard is uh, up on the screen. Restricting apps, just as above, choose an app which you want to prevent from working with the tweak. I'm going to choose FaceTime again, just to have that there. And the recognition area, again, same as above. You can choose whether the left half or the right half or the entire edge recognize your motions and gestures. Uh, so now if you swipe up, if, if swiping up means it's going to close apps and, uh, or bring up the app switcher, that basically means that the control center is no longer uh, available. So uh, cleverly, <coughs> this tweak uh, features a way to bring up the control center a different way, um, which is to move it to the notif notification center. So I'm going to do that right now to show you. As you can see, I bring out a notification center and control center is in the top right here. So that fixes that, and I'm pretty sure you want to keep that on. So once you've configured uh, all your uh, the tweaks for the tweak, tap respring on the bottom, and then you're going to wait for your phone to restart. Okay, so now that we have configured and resprung the phone, I'm going to show you a little uh, uh, how this tweak actually works. So I'm going to show you uh, the, the gesture of swiping up and what that does from the home screen. And that brings up the app switcher, which is really useful. and. Uh, much, much better than double tapping the uh, home button. Sometimes the home button doesn't work, like on my phone, and that uh, makes it much easier to bring up the app switcher. Now, the other uh, feature about this tweak is if we go into an app and you need to switch between apps, uh, open apps, or recently open apps, should I say, quicker than usual, you can do so by swiping over like this. As you can see, it takes a little bit of uh, getting used to, but it's much faster than double tapping the home button, selecting the recently opened app, tapping that again, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's multitasking gestures. Have fun with it. It's very useful and uh, a very good tweak. Very easy to install and use. And there you go. I hope that helped some of you. And if you'd like to check out some of our other 
tips and tricks or other how-to videos, feel free to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, or subscribe to our YouTube channel.